Hi, everyone. So welcome today to our webinar for permanent reduction. I hope it's not too terrible taking you away. I don't know where you live, but I know here it's really beautiful weather in Buffalo, New York. So I thank you so much for taking time to join us. Um, we'll make this really simple today. The most important thing for me is that you ask your questions. And I've got my sidekick daughter, Nadine, who will be looking for those questions so that I answer them. So let's begin. Permanent reduction program. I don't know if all of you understand that, you know, it's illegal to say permanency anymore, that it's supposed to be only something like electrolysis that claims it. A lot of it has to do with the old laws having been written. I don't have a problem saying permanent reduction, but I can tell you that I've got permanent permanency and so do many others, especially when you follow this program we're gonna talk about today. Let's go along. The goal, <laughs> the goal to reach faster results. That's what this whole program is about. In the end, if you, if you sugar as often as you generally wax, you'll end up with superior results no matter what, um, and faster results of, give me one second. Ma'am, parle pas au chien s'il vous plaît. <laughs> I'm working from home with my mom as well, which I took out of her retirement home, so we all do what we can together. Um, so the thing is, even if you're only sugaring like every four, six weeks, you're still going to have good results going forward because of how the stages work of growth. Um, but you can do so much better for your customers by following this process that we're going to talk about. Number one, you all know me already as far as, you know, the theory of sugaring, the Kennedy theory. Um, you must extract the hair in the early antigen stage for this to really work. There is no system out there that will tell you otherwise. Electrolysis, laser, pulse, whatever it is they do, you must take the hair out. You must affect the hair when it's still in the antigen stage being fed. That's black and white. We can do that. AP professional sugaring can do that. All sugaring should be able to do that. But what makes us really capable of doing that, even with tough terminal hair, is the process, the technique that we do, and the formulation, of course, because it has to work with you without breaking down. What you can do is offer, um, we do this at our studios, we offer permanent reduction packages or memberships, if you will. Generally, those go for six months at a time. You can do one year at a time. I find, or I've personally found myself it's much easier to encourage someone to, to buy a six month membership or package deal than it is a full year. And at the end of six months, you review where you are. And that's why I like to tell people take pictures because some people say, I don't remember what I had. Here it is. And you know, lots of hair, big change. If you want to keep going forward, let's go with another six months. This is how we like to do it. Uh, and then you ensure that they follow this is like so important. And the reason it's important, our full circle of skin conditioning program is because when the skin is in optimum condition, meaning not a lot of excess dead skin, no ingrowns, no inflamed ingrowns and, and all the things that can be associated with ingrown hairs, as well as just as important as the appearance of it on the outside is that the follicles are kept decongested decongested from embedded dead skin cells and decongested from the inner root sheath every time you take the hair out in that early antigen stage where the bulb is lush and fat and it tears out, you know, that thick jelly tears out the inner root sheath every single time. One of the, one of the factors why we reach permanent results faster. And oh, that's uh, what happens. Oh, my turn, I get it now. <laughs> so I would like some of you out there, there's a lot of things I can answer for you and I'm here for that. I would like someone out there to type their answer here because it's not interactive, right? It's typing. I'd like you to tell me what happens when you extract the hair that you allow to get long. Can somebody give me that answer? Preferably not an AP well-educated person, just somebody who, you know, somebody, somebody. What happens when you wait for a hair to be long to extract it? 
You let me know if anybody's going to grab onto that question. If nobody does, I'll tell you. But I think it would be very interesting. There's a couple people typing for sure. Good, 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 good. So hang tight, guys, just for a minute. What I can do in the meantime while they're typing is go back to this program. So what happens, unless that's further, is it described further in the program? How the program works? Yeah. Okay, I'll wait. So okay. someone said more painful, it will not pull out from the root, the hair can get tangled and make the waxing more painful, it'll be more painful, it can cause damage to the hair follicle which may result in ingrowns, the root doesn't pull, bigger roots. Okay, I'm going to take a guess and don't be offended please. Oh, someone had a good one, it's dead so another one is right underneath. Yeah, that's that's the, probably the most correct answer I got. If you're talking waxing, yes, when the hair is long, it may hurt more. Even if you don't have a really good application. So for those of you who know the six steps, if you don't have a good one position and pressure, and then, you know, when you go into the three, into the two, and you let the sugar roll on the skin, before, if you don't do the six steps properly, you're going to have your customer feel the application a lot more. The most important thing that was said here, because I think a lot of answers came from waxers, the most important thing is from it's Oneida so Smiley. No, both of oh, them. It's uh, dead, and, so another one is underneath. That's right. So basically, if you wait for the hair to be too long, it's not just that it's dead. It's The most important thing inside is that it's detached. So yes, it, it dead hair that you're just waiting for it to be taken out or to eventually just shed out. But inside, it's separated. The new hair is forming. You don't know if the skin is here, when that new hair in the antigen is forming, where it's at underneath. It could be right here, just waiting to pop out. So when you take that long hair out, within a couple of days, this hair comes out. So you're depleting, you're defeating the purpose of extracting the hair, right? Because new growth is coming sooner because you can't tell where it's at. The most important thing to remember when you wait for hair to be long to extract it is that you're not affecting the dermapapilla. You're not affecting the feeding mechanism. You're not shutting it down. All you're doing, and these are only my words, to me, when you extract a hair in the telogen stage, that dead stage, dying stage, when you extract a hair in that telogen stage, you are simply performing uh, a, a depilation, not an epilation, because you're not affecting anything of the feeding mechanism. So to me, it's like superficial hair removal that will last longer than waxing because waxing, uh, not waxing, excuse me, shaving because shaving is right at the right at the skin level. So the hair will simply be there again. Some people in the same day, some the next day it starts to pop through. So taking a hair out in a telogen is not what reaching permanent hair removal is all about. You will not reach permanent hair removal if all you're doing is taking hair out in the telogen stage. However, every time you do take hair out in the telogen, especially with a good sugaring technique, you're going to take hairs out in the antigen. Even with waxing, you'll get some of the shorter hairs out with the waxing, but you might have a lot of hairs left behind because they were too short. So you're still getting you know, some form of more smooth skin for the moment anyway. So there is no better time to take hair out than the antigen stage if you want to change the course of the hair growth. First, by staggering the growth. Second, by refining the texture of the hair. And the more refined it is, the less pigment it looks, the, less, the lighter the hair becomes, the less burdensome it is. And then the catagen is the most, to me, the most irrelevant because it's such a short-lived period. Um, and, and really, it's just stopping to nourish the hair. That's basically what it's doing, preparing it for the telogen where it will detach and eventually shed or be pulled out. It's the most important thing to remember. Anagen is where it's at, and you cannot do the permanent reduction program without understanding this. 
because of, before I say anything about the reviews of the six steps, this photo, for those of you who know the six steps, I love, my, my daughter was laughing at me uh, when they selected this photo because I said, oh my God, this is such a good energy photo because that is a perfect, it's a, that was a perfect, you know, kick with the snap coming back, reestablishing that one position in pressure, that one position, it's so good, ready to go into the three and do your kick one off again. I love, I look at this, I feel the energy. It's just one of my favorite photos I had to share. So let's look a quick review of the six steps because that's what it's all about. If you don't follow the six steps, you won't be able to master tough hair extraction. And tough hair extraction is what allows you to get super short hairs out. I don't know how many people on here saw me do almost, not almost, pretty much every live demo I've ever done in the world, anywhere. I always look for someone in the audience who shaved the day of, like early morning of, or the day before on a lower leg so I can prove how our methodology and our six steps and our formulation work well together to pop those hairs out. If you want to impress anyone, you do a demo because everybody, doesn't matter what form of hair removal they're used to doing, is flabbergasted. How the hell did you get those hairs that barely peek out of the skin out? It's with the six steps, applying the theory of the six steps and the theory of extracting hair in its natural direction, which you can then do in the early antigen stage. Because when you follow the six steps, you know that really establishing the position and pressure, letting that sugar seep into the follicles. This is not a slap on, slap off. You'll never sugar right if that's all you do. You need to send that sugar Seep it without pressure. Like when we say establishing the pressure, it's not a painful pressure. It's so comfortable and so, um, it just feels so good. Most people will say it feels like a massage, right? You should be able, if you follow the six steps really well, you should be able to apply your sugar paste on, and I've done it just for a demo as well, on a man that has super long hair, you know, maybe on his back or chest or wherever, you should be able to apply that sugar and, and seep that sugar, massage it onto the skin and seep that sugar into the follicles and he'll say, I don't feel a thing. That's how good you want to become. And everything about the six steps that we, we try to instill in you brings you to that level. So by controlling all those steps, you'll be able to master that tough hair extraction because there's no time to think of of kick one off, there's like, there's literally no time. You have to go so fast without lifting skin, like without any of that happening. So any of you on here who are AP, you know on our support group, you have all my tips and tricks and practice videos. There's a tough hair extraction, how to practice it. Five, 10 minutes every day. And I promise you, if you do it like that, you'll go like we do, and then you'll see, and you'll see those tiny hairs come right up. Even the short shaven hairs will come up. It's not that when you sugar somebody who came to you with shaven hair, you don't want to do full legs. That's just like too much work. It's I like to prove the point by demonstrating on that. But what if somebody shaves their face, hormonally induced hair growth, and they shave their, their, their facial hair? You can help them right away. By, by doing this light technique and that, that, you know, tough hair extraction technique to bring out as many as you can every day. You don't need to overwork the skin. Then it causes scabbing and all that stuff. Just gently every day, every day you take more so that you get all the hair they had out one time at least. Because if every hair comes out one time at least, you'll know the new hair coming out will be in the antigen. Even if you took some that were in intelligent, it's not a big deal. The new hair will come, you'll get it. That's when the magic happens, is keeping the hair coming through the skin only in the antigen so you never have full growth ever again. That's how you get to that immediate sporadic growth. And then people think, oh, I don't have as many hairs. They still have as many hairs. They still have, the follicles haven't shut down yet, 
but there's never all the stages there. You will only see the hair popping through the skin that's in the antigen. Throughout that six months, that's the magic you're going to find. So even the people, even the people come every two weeks on this, on this program. Let's go here, the membership and packages. You want them to visit frequently. So let's talk about lay. No, let's talk about bikini. It could be anywhere, but let's talk about bikini. Let's say you put them on a bikini and normally they would come every month. Let's say you want them to come every two months. So there's different ways and you can get creative on how you charge for these packages. But, you know, maybe you sell them eight to 10 uh, treatments for that six months. Um, for the same price as one a month. It's up to you. You know, some people like to do at least two free treatments. So maybe eight treatments for the price of six. And then they can prepay or you can have the auto, auto withdrawal per month as you wish. But the key is to have them come frequent because those bikinis are going to take you no time. Once, once, and they have to be on a full circle. I would never put somebody on a, on a full package like this on a permanent reduction package without the full circle because it's going to be work on your side as well. So they need to work with you and partner with you because when the skin is in optimum condition, you're not going over removing dead skin cells so that you can let that sugar, you know, penetrate into the follicles. It's all happening in the first application. And when you do your kick, you know, re removal, flick, kick off, whatever you want to call it, when you start to extract the hair, it's not going to be, it's going to, the hair's going to have very little resistance. That's why your treatments are going to go super fast. Their skin is going to be in optimum condition. And at the end of six months, I'm not saying 100% of the hair is going to be gone. I won't even make a guarantee what the percentage will be. But I, because we can't, everybody's different. And you don't know what can happen to them between that period. So many things um, are responsible for the hair growth. There's so many variables for hair growth. But I will do this. I would look anybody in the eyes and say, if you work with me and you do what I need you to do and you're on the full circle, I'll know if you're doing your full circle when I see your skin anyway. I promise you this because we will take pictures every week, every two weeks when you come. I promise you that you will find a big difference in the skin tone and texture and in the hair growth that you have. I can promise you that. You might be more pleasantly surprised than I ever anticipated you to be because it'll be great, but you won't be disappointed. This I know. So then you, and this is through consultation, right? And then you can decide what's the way forward from there. That's the best thing to do. Um, so this is just showing you an example. It's just very straight math. I don't need to read it. You can see it yourself and you'll have access to this afterwards anyway. I would rather get to your questions sooner than later. Um, but you know, if you look at this at the quick math, a hundred bucks saving in six months is a hundred bucks. They're saving basically those two extra free treatments. And then there's another thing I should share that I know I used to do when I put people on packages and we have at our studios as well. So if somebody buys a package, we give them a discount. Like we might say, okay, so then you'll get 20% off your per diem treatments. So if you, you know, want your full legs, I'll give you 20% or 15 or 10 whatever you're comfortable with. We don't dictate anything. We only share options, information. So that's one way of getting them to commit to other body parts as well. It's nice to give a little, little something because they're already there with you anyway. Um, and the one thing I love about doing this, sorry, let me get back there. You, your appointments are all pre-booked because you want them. You don't want them going, waiting three weeks, and then they only came one time and getting off course. You want to try to keep them on course. Every person you succeed that's really happy is going to help your business grow. That's just the way it is, and we all know that. Uh, supporting, uh, okay, so full circle. I am, it doesn't matter where you begin in this full circle. Most people will begin after they come to you for first treatment, but we have some distributors who actually represent, they actually send them um, maybe the salt smoothie or dead sea salt or a, a small bit of phenomenal. They send something for them or sweet cheeks. They send something for them to prep their skin at home. I know for a fact that some people prep their skin the same day of. Now, that might be okay for some people, but other people have higher sensitive skin 
and shouldn't do any form of exfoliation the day before, the day of, or the day after. So I can preach all I want, but some people try different things and it works for them. Point in case, 29 years ago, I had two cute young girls come to me in my uh, when I was in Welland, Ontario, doing sugaring in, in the beginning year. And um, they went to the beach right after sugaring. And when they came, they said, oh, we go to, because I'm like, you know, don't forget, you shouldn't be going to the beach, you know, wait 48 hours. Oh, we went, uh, we had no problems. I did it. Wicked, wicked burn on my legs. Wicked burn. Vinegar, water for days, trying to get rid of the severe sunburn. So I have hypersensitive skin. That's why I prefer to err on the side of caution. But some people say it works, and I'm all about, you know, pro-choice. So here. Here's what happened. Happens. I say they come to you the first time. It doesn't matter what skin condition they're in, how much hair, ingrowns, whatever. We're going to sugar. And as we sugar, we're going to do a light peeling, detoxification of the, uh, sorry, uh, peeling, uh, exfoliation. And then the sugar is going to start seeping into the follicles and we're going to extract and extract and get the hair out. And then some ingrowns, we're going to go over and do a little tough hair extraction there and release more and get some of the ingrowns out. That's who we are. That's what you all should be doing as an AP pro. Because we can. We can make that first treatment so exceptional in results. So now, I don't say stop there because let's say you got rid of everything. If you go over one more time and send that sugar into those follicles that are emptied of the hair now, that sugar will go in and you'll start decongesting the follicles. So that first treatment is like, amazing and then i would encourage you to do mud right away because it will draw out more impurities and if they had sensitivities especially if you did a man's back or chest or maybe first time bikini even the legs you can get red dots especially where you took the hair out in the antigen and it's congested and really had to fight its way through and that bulb was thick when it passes through it does like a little heat friction at the mouth of the follicle that's where you'll get a red dot the bigger the bulb the more intense the dot. The smaller the ball becomes, the less irritation from the friction until there's actually none whenever they come. And they start to notice these differences as well. So after that first treatment, do the mud, take away some of the heat that the friction might have caused, make the skin brighter, lighter, and you'll see the big difference anyway. And then I would say, um, if they had, if you did it where there's histamines, of course, we have things for you to do. But going back to that full circle, show them how to use, like if you're doing full legs, a little bit of phenomenal with a little bit of restore, emulsify and massage it to the full legs. Show them and how the skin feels and the difference. Show them how to do it. And it's the same with this um, salt smoothie like or sweet cheeks. Show them on one arm or hand how easy it is to use and how to take it away to show them how they can do this very easily at home because you want them to see and feel the difference on their first treatment. So better to book a little extra time to be able to show them what the full circle is all about so that they begin it and stay on it right away. They need to see and feel the benefits from the onset. No better place than in your room to show that. And then, you know, there's the travel kit if they don't want to, let's say they don't want to um, invest in everything right away, they're not quite sold, then let them try the travel kit so that they can see the benefit of it. I don't know anybody who tries the travel kit and says, this is crap. And if there's anybody out there, you should tell us if you're there right now and you think, you know, I've never been able to retail, let us know. Because we're doing so much, first of all, we've got great product awareness webinars coming any time now. When's the first one It's coming? Next week. Next week. So we're going to dissect one product at a time. You're going to love those webinars. And 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 uh, Catherine, our, our marketing director, is going to be on there. And she's so lovely. You're going to really enjoy her. I'll be there just as like sidekick kind of guy. So I think that's it for now. There's um, a lot of time for questions, which is was most important to me. And I'm ready. So someone did put earlier on when you were talking about short hair, um, it's not so much a question, but it was a statement on their part that it takes a much longer time to remove the hair when it's so short. It does. That's why I said, so there's a couple of factors. 
I said, I would never want to do a first time customer full legs shaven hair. Absolutely not. But if they've been coming to me regularly and let's say they only have even like 15, 20, 30 percent hair growth coming in and they don't want to wait because there's it would be so easy because the whole key and the whole reason why very short hair is tough to remove is that it needs a different technique. You need to send that sugar in so it really sticks it and you need like a, a you need the tough hair extraction, this black and white. You must master tough hair extraction, the technique. Um, but if they're on the full circle, those short hairs are going to come out much easier. That full circle, you know I'm the full circle girl. Everything in my world is, everything is a full circle. That's why I believe in everything we do so much because I've seen it. If they're not on that program, there's always going to be some toughness to extracting very short hair. Yeah. So these kind of coincide. I'm just waiting for confirmation on one of them. But someone said they struggle with salt smoothie. They don't feel like it exfoliates as well as if you make it your yourself. Oh, I have mine in my shower. I love it. But I also have in my bathtub, excuse me, you've probably seen photos of it. I have my dry salt and restore because I'll do either or. I prefer mixing things by myself. But what happened when I tried to recommend people take the restore and do the salt and pump it and do it themselves. Um, nobody really bought into it. Everybody wants it pre-mixed. So maybe, um, you know, maybe you should contact, who is it? Can you tell me who it is? Chelsea King. Where are you from, Chelsea? And, and, and who someone else agreed, Lee Connell. Or who trained you, Chelsea? Because it could be, I'm wondering if there's something wrong, if it's too liquidy or something. Because you can't really wet uh, your skin when you're doing it because it'll dissolve too fast. It has to be on dry skin. That might be one of them because the Lee Connell put, I find the salt melts quickly. So that could be it. Yeah, you, you can't. The salt will melt no matter what. You have to do it on dry skin. And that's why when I show it, you have to do dry skin, wet your hands a bit and then continue. You know, wet your hands a bit and then continue. Try that or, or hey, Set up an appointment with me. We'll go on Skype together and let me watch what you do and let's see what we can do to make that go better. So I'm open. She did say she's from North Carolina. Okay. So you don't even have an educator really supporting you. So um, you, you can call us at the head office. We'll take care of you. So someone else said that they found um, salt smoothie stings a little. Ah, then you should use sweet cheeks. So if salt smoothie is stinging, you must have very sensitive skin or you have ingrowns or little bumps or something because I tell people not to use salt smoothie if they have um, ingrown that can burst open because it's salt. It's going to sting. Um, so in that case, I would recommend um, sweet cheeks. And although we made sweet cheeks for the delicate facial skin, Tissues, um, we have some people who prefer, that's why they say, can you please put, uh, put full body as well? So we're, we're going to rebrand that anyway, so that it's also used for full body. Some people prefer how the sugar granules exfoliate more than the um, salt smoothie. I love them both. I use them both. Um, I use salt smoothie for my body and I use sweet cheeks for my face, but you can use don't use sweet, uh, don't use salt smoothie for your face because the granules are too big. But they're round, though. The salt granules are round. It's the reason why I love our salt smoothie. Um, but it is salt, and it will sting if you have any kind of cuts, openings, anything. It will sting. Sorry, I'm just replying. To okay. Someone. Any other questions there? Anybody have any questions about the permanent uh, reduction program? Is there anything more I can share about that? I mean, you can be as creative. The whole thing is you can be as creative as you want for your programs, whatever you want to offer memberships or package deals. Um, all you got to think of when you're offering this is you need that customer to come to you when you need them to come to you. So other than the facial hormonal growth, generally twice a month will suffice. But on the program, maybe they're going away and they just have a few hairs, you know, slip them in, 
because there's so you're making such good profit by doing them twice a month because it's cutting your time is so short it's so quick to do really all right so someone said i'm going to read it out but i think there was a typo my biggest struggle with sugaring is on my very fair clients like redheads yeah i'll get Toughest. over digestion which looks like skin lifting sometimes even if i'm really good about the powder I don't know exactly. Oh, so this is not just about powder. This is about pressure. And this can be, you'll understand me when I say it, this can be a question of your step six and where you're at when you're coming off. Are you in a perfect one when you're coming off the skin? You should never have this on the skin, right? If you're doing that, you're overworking the skin and redheads are the most hypersensitive and sometimes the toughest hair to extract as well. They're a category of their own uniqueness, really. So what I'm going to recommend, if you don't have an educator servicing you, I'm going to recommend that you call our 800-957-8427 number or maybe give Katie's um, email as well and ask to get um, a Skype support session, even if it's just 15 minutes, we just need we just need to see your technique for like not even two minutes and we'll tell you what you can do in practice to elevate the technique and i'm not saying it's your technique so please never be offended by what i say because i have no idea i haven't seen anything it's just something that comes to mind okay so someone asked how often do they need to come in for the permanent reduction program twice a month is your go-to that's the whole purpose let's say they say twice a month but i don't have any hairs what if they have five percent hair showing at the two-week mark or three percent that three percent that's just popping out is definitely in the early antigen stage and you're going to get really great results by the end of that, that six month by doing this so someone asked for advice it's at it's avril Cayenne, about okay. practitioners sugaring a okay. client when the client is it essentially has her menstrual cycle uh sugaring a client when the client has a menstrual cycle mm -hmm. so you know what at the end of the day i've done a bazillion girls with their menstrual cycle and i generally have to move away the little string and make sure i don't pop it and you know but what if somebody's hypersensitive you give them the choice I would say, you know, it, some women are very sensitive when they have their cycle. If you want to come in, we can try it. If it's too delicate for you, we can reschedule. I've never, ever had a woman say, yeah, you know what? Leave the hair there, ever. So, you know, it's all up to the individual. As a professional, I don't have a problem sugaring somebody who's on their cycle. But then again, you know, they might have swollen glands. So you got to do your underarm check if you're doing the underarms. And if they're, ah, ah, you're touching it. Clearly, you're not going to do them. You really shouldn't because that means their lymph nodes are swollen and that can be a lot more uncomfortable for them. So on an in individual basis, consultation. Mm -hmm. So I think someone, she's still typing, so I want to see if she has something else. But it looks like she would like to start the J-Shells and she's asking what steps maybe she should take. She's typing still, so I want yeah. to see if there's a follow-up. Okay. Um, that's an easy, that's really a, a no-brainer. Um, I know that some professionals in the world don't like that we call it vagacials because you're not actually doing a facial for the vagina, which is internal. But I said to my daughter, let's switch it to vulvacial. She goes, mom, that just sounds really stupid. So that didn't work out either. And I think most of the world accepts the vagacial as the bikini facial. Um, they're great. If you're not offering them, offer it. It's a great treatment and you can do the sugaring, of course, not the exfoliation if you're sugaring. Uh, you could do the mud, you can do the phenomenal after, like you can do a beautiful facial. You could. You could do almost like a facial, basically. That's why they call it the vagacial. So be as creative as you want, you know? You can, you can do anything there. Definitely, it would be more like an LA bikini, but even if somebody kept some hair, you know, you can trim it, you can do cute things, yeah. So someone said they're new to facials, what's a vagacial? Yeah, <laughs> it's basically really taking care of downstairs. 
That's what it is. You're taking care. You're you're cleansing. You're um, in this case, you would be sugaring possibly. You're doing a mud mask down there, and then you're you know taking it away, essential tonic. You're just taking care. You're not plumping like you would in in a facial like we do with our sweet and plump. Um, you're not really doing the light pulse. It's just it's just a nice overall full bikini cleansing hydrating detoxifying treatment is what it is yeah and like anywhere else girls it feels good it just when you clean everything it just feels so good period <coughs> i keep looking this way for the questions <laughs> More people typing, but we're up to date pretty much right now on questions. Okay. So everyone is good with the program. Um, if you're not offering it and you want to learn more, let us know. Yes. When using the mud, is the mud always kept wet? So that's a really good question. I've been getting that one a lot lately. It's a choice. So here's... And we're, when am I doing that one? Not this one. This this Friday, I'm doing a Sweet Talk to the Consumers on Transgender. The next Friday, I'm going to actually do a Consumer Sweet Talk on the mud factors because there's so many good things. And that'll be, I think we're actually doing the product awareness on the mud next week with, uh, with Catherine. So it's a choice. When you do your face at home, let's just say you're doing it at home, once it's dry, Take it off because what'll happen? You'll start talking, or if you're like, and then you'll crack your skin, and it can like it can pierce into the skin. It's really it really gets that dry, so it's not good to just leave it on dry. But um, let's say you're you're using it in your treatments, and a man's you did his chest or back, and it's really heated up. When you put that mud on, the minute it dries, and it usually takes barely two minutes for it to dry when there's a lot of heat. Spray it again and it'll dry, spray it again, and it'll dry, and all of a sudden it'll take time to dry. Then you know most of the heat was lifted because every time you wet the mud, it goes back into action. It gets reactivated. So you can do the same thing. Let's say you want to do your own mud mask at home and it's drying. You can keep spraying it if you want to just keep it activating on your skin, or you can use a gauze cloth wet so that it stays moist longer and once it starts drying just wash it off yeah that's so the on the topic of mud two questions um do you prefer the mud warm or cold and does a mud mask work for oily skin in a facial yeah this mud is for all skin types i'm going to tell you i know very few people like to say this but pretty much everything ap is for all skin types and the mud is no different um and what was the question how long what no does the mud work for oily skin yeah. and do you prefer prefer warm cold. mud or cold i've done both um if it depends on how i feel like if i'm talking about my face um there are times where i just want to do a cold mud pack that just feels really wonderful and kind of anti-swelling but the mud is already that i never do a hot mud on my face the only time I go any more than lukewarm um, for the body between cool and lukewarm is for joint therapy, which you don't have to concern yourself with. So for the skin mud, lukewarm is, is ideal. Cool is better if you're trying to take away heat. Like if somebody got, you know, the chest or the back and, and the skin got heated a lot, it just happens with, with some men. Then the cool mud is like instantly feels wonderful the same with the bikini like if you're doing the first time ellie bikini and you put a nice cool mud feels wonderful it's immediately soothing yeah so someone asked does the program help with histamine reactions uh does the program so the permanent reduction program yes yes let me tell you why histamine reaction is caused by shallow hair um, like vellus hair and some vellus hair can feel a little bit thicker than other people's vellus hair It's basically vellus hair is shallow sits on a nerve endings 
here's the genius behind this. On the permanent reduction program, you're going to get rid of hair faster and you're going to stagger growth. So you will never, ever, after a couple of treatments, take away that density of hair. The less hair, the less reaction. Now we're talking especially vellus hair. And uh, get rid of the hair, you get rid of all reactions. So it's really, it's not, it's really, really simple to me. Um, if you're taking away dense vellus hair, and I have the full book story on that reaction when I did it 29 years ago, against a natural direction, and I had like dense vellus hair, blonde, blonde, and uh, my reaction lasted three months. I couldn't get rid of it. Of course, I didn't understand it like I do now either, but even, even knowing what I know now and knowing... Um, the products we have now to help, like CC Me, Fantastic Mud, fanta these two things alone for histamine reactions are really fantastic. But even with that, with the dense hair I had and still extracting the hair in the natural direction, I would have still had to suffer through it to get to this point, but not as hard as I did, definitely not as long as I did either. So on the program, you will reduce the hair growth, therefore reduce the histamine reactions. But if you're gonna deal with somebody with histamine reactions, do not bypass the CC me or the mud. Do not bypass. They should go home with it as well as aftercare at home to help get rid of any reaction much faster. So someone asked if sugaring was less painful or equal to waxing when it comes to bikinis, essentially. Less. If you only take, okay, and I'm not here to bash anything because I've met a handful of what I would say the best waxers in the world. So, and, and very conscious, that means their technique is so prime, so prime for what they're supposed to be doing. But here's two things. One, it's sugar. So let's say you had no hair in the bikini and you put on wax and took it off, you'd still feel. If you put on sugar and took it off, you might enjoy it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> anyway, it wouldn't hurt, right? So, so that's the first difference is sugar is skin loving. And if you know how to put it on and off like we do, it's really, really, really skin loving because it's like, it just feels so nice. Second, the sugar penetrates into the follicles. It lubricates. So when we say, when I say to people, this is not slap on, slap off, you got to really massage it. If I see people have tough hairs, lots of skin, I'll, I'll do my application maybe like five, six times before I even take it off. Just because I'm trying to get that sugar to work inside and go into those crevices and get into the follicles, grip the hairs and lubricate. Okay? You can't do that with any form of wax, period. So now there's a sugar on top and it's a, gathered all the hair and it's inside the follicle lubricating. All this is connected. All this, and it's all connected. When I start to extract, it slides the hair out in the natural direction. So imagine, it's like this, it's sliding out, it's not doing this, right? You have to feel less just by the nature of the methodology itself. Because here's the, here's the mouth of the follicle, right? Here's the hair. So if I slide it out this way, it's very normal. Otherwise, I am pulling it, right? I'm pulling it against that mouth. Against, so you have to feel that. I, you cannot deny it. It just simply is what it is. So by nature of what I just described, it's much less painful. It's not going to be, ooh, it feels good. But the minute it's out, it's literally out. It's not pain to the skin. What they feel is when when the hair is tougher and the follicles are still congested, and if we get it in the antigen, they're gonna feel that pop through the mouth of the follicle. But that's it in the natural direction. So not this, you know, not pulling against it, making it feel more discomfort or more pain on that mouth of the follicle coming out. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so someone oh asked God. what is the permanent reduction program I think they came late this video will be available for playback once we're done um, so basically in a nutshell permanent reduction program is something we put together 
through all the years of experience and, and using my theories to reach better results faster on permanency. So someone asked about your intake on people saying that they do not break out when doing threading, but they do with sugaring extraction. So I've had threading done and I had massive histamine reaction. I had it on my arms, but I also had histamine reaction when I sugared, I did get rid of my hair. But a lot of times what happens with threading, it just breaks. It's like, what's his name? Scissor hand, right? That Edward movie, Scissorhand. Edward Scissorhand. That's basically what the threading is doing. So you're not getting full extraction, which is why when you look at a lot of the Persian women I used to sugar when I used to sugar dog years ago, um, they had like shaven hair on their eyebrows because they got wiry eyebrows, same thing down there. And it was like shaven hair. When I started sugaring them, they couldn't believe how it was coming back in a fine point. Anything less than a fine point is a broken hair, ladies. Because a new hair that's forming, that never gets broken or shaven or cut, always has a fine point. Even a heavier hair will still be heavy, but you'll still see a finer point. So someone asked if there's a male equivalent of the vajayshal. It's been so long since I've dated, I have no idea. No, <laughs> A male version for Vajayshal? Well, I can tell you this. Um, I can't wait. Actually, you all have to come on this. We're scheduled July 27th, I believe, to finally do the Melkini. you got to come and see how we do the Melkini. At the end of the day, if you're sugaring a man's entire full intimate area, front to back, you're basically cleansing everything. You're basically sugaring everything and then you're mudding everything and then you're washing everything. So I guess you can look at it as that's, you know, um, uh, mancacial. I don't know. <laughs> Someone said penicials, like penis penicials. Penicials. <laughs> okay. You know, this would be fun. We should look at, we should all get together and find a cute name for that manly name. One second. And you'll, you'll enjoy my, I hope anyway, um, my sweet talk to the consumers this, week, uh, this Friday because um, I think it's a very important topic and I have some, some stories to share on transgendering and our treatments, all treat, like all hair removal treatments. So someone did ask how they could watch the, the mankini. Oh, well, I wouldn't recommend the video we already have right now because I got a better way of doing it. So July 27th, mm -hmm. I'm scheduled for a webinar with Dermascope Magazine for a male intimate sugaring session. You will love it. I still have to find a model. You know how hard it is to find a model today? Nobody wants you to touch anything anymore. So keep your fingers crossed. I am really am hunting for a man right now. <laughs> For, for the men key. I got it. Someone's still typing, so I just want to see. Okay. Okay. So I. No other questions. Don't see anything else. Did we miss? Can anybody just wave, wave, raise a hand? Can you do that? If we missed any questions, sometimes, you know, because it goes, then it just goes away. I want to make sure I got all your questions answered. So <laughs> Lee Connell. Asked, where are you, Lee? <laughs> Lena. Um, she actually asked, where are you, Lena? Because she oh. has clients that might. That Buffalo, New York. Is that far from you? <laughs> She's in Brantford, Ontario. Oh, that's not far. Lee, let's make it happen. Awesome. Yeah, give her my email. Yeah. Hey, that would be so wonderful. And then I'll talk to you about what I'm looking for. No redheads. <laughs> no redheads. Um, so for the Dermascope webinar, the link is not out yet. We're announcing it here, yeah. but I don't think it's been officially. Um, we want to be sure, posted. you know, only because we're, everybody's going back. We're also, our, our studios are opening up Tuesday, uh, June 2nd. And we're kind of hoping that everybody's been playing nice and that they don't shut us down again anywhere in, in America or anywhere in North America or the world for that matter. So 
We're hoping. Uh, we're still on for this webinar. I'm super excited to, to, to show you all because you're going to be like probably going, oh my God, but it doesn't hurt them at all. I promise you. And I'll ask my model, whoever that is, and Lee, I hope you have one for me. Frankfurt, it's like only an hour away. It's not a big deal. So um, just to clarify, the transgender hair removal is not a webinar. This is just a video that we post on AP's Instagram and Lena's Instagram. So that is public view. You guys can go there on Friday. It launches at 3 p.m. The new episode will. Yeah. And, and the whole purpose of the Sweet Talks on Friday is to help us. Um, I'm trying to help us educate the consumers so that, you know, more people want to seek you guys out as well. And that's what this is. It's going to be geared. I'm going to be talking to them. Maybe they're transgender. I'm going to be talking to them what they need to be aware of when they come to us as professionals and they're transgendering. So it should be a good one. I, I think it'll be really appreciated by those who need to know the information anyway. But it's so good for, for all of us to listen to this. I don't have okay. any other questions. Well, if we haven't missed any questions, I want to thank you so much for your time. It's always a pleasure to be here with you. And you know where to find me. I don't run and I don't hide, guys. So thank you again. And we'll see you next week with Catherine. And real yeah. quick, if you missed part of the beginning, you can stay on once we end the webinar. It'll be available for playback, immediate playback. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.